So here at the Ralls course, we are evaluating different surfactants or wetting agents that are marketed to golf course superintendents as products that can help retain moisture in the soil or help water more easily penetrate down through the soil. And so we have four different products that are marketed as retaining water products and we have four products that we're testing that are marketed as penetrant products. And so we're trying to evaluate those products based on uh, surface moisture. And in doing so, we're also looking at things like surface hardness to see how firm the surface of the green is. And we're going to evaluate ball marks. So I do a lot of research related to water management and water conservation in turf grass areas that include golf courses mostly, but also residential home lawns trying to minimize the amount of water that we're putting onto grass and still manage something that is aesthetically pleasing as well. Golf courses are often seen by the general public especially as a place that is probably a waste of water uh, just because it's more of a recreational activity and I think again the general public has feeling that golf courses use and or waste a, a lot of water and so these surfactants are one way in which a golf course superintendent can really start to cut back on their water usage and so understanding a little bit more about how the products work and the effectiveness of the products really will help them make better decisions and for us it just kind of helps us improve our communication and how to effectively manage water on the golf course itself. We are making monthly applications of the different products. So once a month we come out, set up the lines in the experiment and we spray each of the treatments at the labeled rates every 28 to 30 days. And then once a week we come out and rate the plots for turf grass quality and we measure moisture content at three different depths, an inch and a half, one inch, and half an inch. And then we are also doing our surface hardness measurements once every other week. And then here soon, we'll start creating ball marks. And then once we make the ball marks, then we're gonna use image analysis techniques to determine the, the depth of the ball mark, how deep it basically makes an impression in the putting green. And then we'll, we'll fix that ball mark. And then over time, we'll come out probably daily to every other day and take pictures of the ball marks themselves and the injury that's, that's caused by the ball mark. And then so we'll evaluate the severity and also the recovery of the ball mark using image analysis.